Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to fold the model Shemsie, what means umbrella in Turkish, by Muratan Saifoglu. Um, this is the model. Looks like this from the inside, like that from the outside. Yeah. This one. I fold it from 15 cm paper, uh, it has a very good uh, model to paper ratio, if I show you the other one again, this was folded from this size of paper, that's 30 cm by 30 cm, and it has a pretty good size for that amount of paper. Okay, so let's start. Um, a few things you will need when folding this model. Um, one is a ruler, from like this or that. Um, the other one is something to score the paper. I will use a bone folder like this one, but you can use any blunt tool, like this needle, it has blunt thing. Uh, but you can also use a pen that's run out of ink or something along those lines. doesn't really matter. I will mostly use the bone folder. Um, then I recommend you to have uh, some tool uh, with a very sticky end, like this toothpick. And uh, a clamp like this might also be useful. But it's not really necessary. Okay, so let's start. Um, I start with the uh, side of the um, of the umbrella down, so this paper is white and green, and the green side is facing down, and it would, will be the main color of the umbrella afterwards. Okay, I rotate the paper a little bit like this and I fold the lower corner up to the upper corner. And make a strong crease. Like this. If you have a bone folder, you can also use the bone folder to make a strong crease. Then I fold one, one of the, these corners to the other corner. This. Try to match them as good as possible and make a strong crease. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to rotate the paper so that it is a triangle that faces with the hypotenuse towards me. And I open this side reach in here and bring, see, I open this here and that brings this corner down to that corner, like this. Make creases here and there. Like that. Then rotate the paper a little. I turn it over. I fold this big triangle here over to the other side. Uh, the reason is to turn over this crease into a valley fold. Like that. Then again I reach into the pocket and bring this upper corner down to the remaining corners. Make sure you have a nice and precise corner on the top and fold it flat. And I always go over the crease again with my nail. You could also use the bone folder to go over it to make strong precise creases. Then again I fold one flap over from the left to the right. Then I turn it over, the whole model, and again fold one flap over from the left to the right, 
to turn the middle creases into valley folds. Okay, now here's the open side, and there's the closed corner, and I take one layer of this open side and fold this corner up to that corner, like this, and then I make a small pinch mark here, just like that, and unfold again. Then I flip one of these flops, flaps over and repeat. I take this corner, bring it to the other corner, like that, and make a pinch mark here. Unfold and bring the flap back. Then I turn it over and repeat it a third time. Taking this lower corner, bringing it to the other corner here, align them nicely and make a pinch mark like that. Unfold. Okay, so we made this on three sides, we don't need it on the fourth. I now take the opposite corner here. Rem remember, here is the closed corner. And I take one flap and bring it to this pinch mark. See, I make the pinch mark a little more visible. Here's the pinch mark. And I take this corner here, bring it to the pinch mark. And then look what happens here on the top. Um, it should end very nicely like this. And make a sharp crease like that. The reason to do this is that we want to trisect this one side. So when I fold this edge back to that edge, I, I rotate it a little so it's easier. Again I look that it's starting exactly at the corner and fold it back like this. So I have now precise thirds. One third, second third, third third. You see? Then I take the other side, again one flap, and fold it over to match this exactly. Exactly to that edge here. And make a strong crease. Like that. And again, fold this one flap and rotate it a little back to the other edge here. Look that it starts nice and precise at the corner and make a very sharp crease. Like that. Good. Turn the model over and repeat what we just did. So I Again, mark here's our pinch mark that we made earlier. And I take this corner, start at the very top, bring it to the, that line, and make a strong crease like that. And fold it back to the edge. Like that. And again, for this edge over to that edge, starting the very top and make a strong crease. Take it and fold this one flap up. completely like that. White sides up now and I'm going to search for the pinch marks I made. Here's a pinch mark. There's none. 
here's one. Oh, and here is one. Three times. Okay, so let's start with this one. I start, and there's a line going from the middle in a right angle down here. So here's a right angle. And we start with this line. And we fold that corner next to it to where the crease, uh, the pinch mark, intersects with this diagonal line. So we start here, bring this corner to here. If it overlaps a little bit, it doesn't matter. Like this. It should start here. Then make a strong crease. Then rotate the paper and fold this corner up. And I don't see, know whether you can see it. Here's a line that goes diagonal to the middle. And we fold this corner here to that point like this and it should end again where the right angle line is here like that oh, I'm not folding very precise you should okay good so let's proceed with the next side. I rotate it a little bit, little bit, start on this point here and fold to where the crease intersection is here, like this. Rotate the paper and fold up to this line. Again, going to that line here like this rotate and the next one go from here to there rotate it and Fold this corner up to this intersection and go to where the line is at a right, a right angle. Like this. Okay, so the fourth side we don't need because this will be our handle. This will form uh, the umbrella and here will be our angle, uh, handle to grab the umbrella. Okay, so let's work on this here. You see we have this line here and we have a line here and what we need to do is make a valley fold between those lines. So from here to here we make a valley fold. Yeah. It's easier actually to turn the paper over a bit because here you can see the crease lines better. So from here to here and make it a mountain fold, so like that. What you can also do, if you don't want to turn it over, you can just take your ruler, take a bone folder or an empty pen or something, make a crease line there, fold it up and make a strong crease like this. Okay, then we unfold this, this side, make a valley fold here. It's already there, you just have to follow it. And then we make a valley fold along this line and a valley fold along that line and press this flat. It works almost on itself. Like that. Okay, let's repeat this on the next side. I would just hold the, go from here to the 
there. Uh, let's make this more visible from here to there. Then just press it up like this. Unfold, fold it up to the side, inside, like this. You can arrange this a little bit and exactly the tip if you want it to look nice on the inside, but it's not really necessary. And the last one. This time I'm going to turn it over again, make it and fold between here and there. Like this. Unfold and refold. like that okay so next on I'm going to rotate the paper so that the corner here is on top and let's work on this side I take this lower edge here and bring it up so that this edge and that edge align with a crease find the crease where they align here and there. You see there, there's a crease here and there's a crease there. And you fold this up until they align here. The middle line should align on itself. And then we make a crease here in the middle between this line and that line make a strong crease. Okay, unfold. So what we made now is a crease here. Yeah, see? Then rotate it a little and now we're going to bring this edge up and do exactly the same. We search this crease here and this crease here, bring it up and make a crease here. So that's the new crease. Rotate it and again align here and there on this side and on, on that side and make a crease down there. And rotate again and do the same. We align this crease here and that crease here and make a crease here. So we make creases here and there. And the last one's a little bit different because this time this edge goes at a different angle. So we can only align the left side with this crease here and on the right we can just bring this point to the line. But you can check in the middle that the middle aligns with itself. Okay, and make a crease like that. Okay, now let's rotate it back and repeat on this side. We, we stopped here and we go the other round, way around. Again, a line on the left and the right and make a crease here. Rotate and the next one. Open, rotate and the next one.
open, rotate, and then the last one. And again, on this, this time it aligns only on the right side. On the le left side you ju have just this point aligning. Okay, that's it. Um, so we made the creases here, here, and here. Good. Now let's rotate it like this. And we're going to make valley fold here. It's already there. We, we just used the existing lines. And we make valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley all the way up. So this will be a mountain fold. The next one a valley fold. Then a mountain fold again. And so on. So, let's start. If you want, uh, this point here gets a lot of stress, so you could put a little bit of tape on if you like, but I don't think it's really necessary. So, let's just fold this. Like I said, there are existing crease lines. Don't make any new crease lines. Just use the existing ones. You might have to turn some over, but they should all be there. Okay, let's do it on the other side as well. Always valley, mountain, valley. And like I said, no new creases, it's all existing ones. Okay, like that. Here on the top it should be nice and precise. Okay, now let's check that we have the same amount of flaps on both sides. Just count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. If it's different, like you have, for example, seven on this side and five on this, you can just uh, flip it over so that you have the same amount of flaps on both sides. Good. Let's work on the tip. We have this middle line here. And what I'm going to do is I take one flap here and take this point here and bring the flap up along this point like that and in the original model uh, Muratan said that you should divide this uh, amount in half like folding down here personally I think that's too small a tip I prefer taking exactly this point here where it lies and fold it down to mark it. So I make this crease line here. But like I said, I, I show it again, you take this point here and take the flap, bring it up to the middle line and Muratan would take half this amount and I take the full amount. But you can take the other uh, crease mark as well. It's a little bit up to you. You don't ne even need uh, to do this you can just guess it which will make a good amount yeah now what we do next is here is our middle line and we take this point and what we want to do is connect this point with that point so like this okay we want the line crease line like that and we want it really sharp so I take a sharp tool like for example the bone folder or this needle or the empty pen or whatever you have on hand you can be creative take the ruler and then just score this line in from that point to that point then 
take one layer and fold it over. You can also use your fingernail if you want. It's possible as well. And just press this and fold it over completely like that. Okay. And then here's the middle line and we fold this back along the middle line like this. Again make a very strong crease, you will need this afterwards. Then unfold and repeat on the left side. I will rotate this a little bit to uh, have an easier time doing this. Take your tool, make a crease, take one layer of paper, no, I have two I want one. Okay. It's more precise if you take one, you could take two as well, but I think the precision isn't as good then. And fold this over completely. Like that. Then go back along the middle line. Like this. and make a really strong crease. Okay, then we fold one flap over to the left and you see here's the point where the crease starts. And I again rotate it a bit, use this point, use that point. So, sorry, here's the other point just for comparison, so that you can see it easier. And repeat. Take one layer of paper, fold it up, fold it up completely, then fold it back along the middle line and make a very strong crease. Okay, we repeat this on all the green flaps, but there where there's white, this, this flap here has this white part, we stop. We don't need it on these flaps. We just need it on, on the green ones. So we can repeat this on all the flaps. Unfold, turn it over, take your ruler, You can also do it with your fingernail, just make a strong crease here, then fold one layer up, fold it really, really strong, and fold it back along the middle line, again making a strong crease. Okay, and the next one. I'll do it with, with the ruler again, again because it's with, with the bone folder because uh, it's easier. Take one layer, fold it up, fold it over, and fold it back along the middle line. That. Okay, that was the last one on this side, so we go back to the middle and fold this over because we already have this one and do the same in the other direction. So we have the point here and we have the point here. Then we put the ruler between them, score it, take one layer of paper, fold it up. this, fold really sharp, fold back along the middle line and make a sharp crease there. Unfold and the next one. Unfold, fold the next one. Connect dots, 
make the fold, take one layer, fold it over, make a sharp crease, go back on the middle line, make a really sharp crease, that's very important, unfold, oh, that was the last one, okay, so go back to the middle, now what we're going to do is we take the white flaps here, hold them together and fold the other flaps to the other direction, like this. Now we go in here and this crease here turns into a mountain fold and goes to this side. So I fold this into a mountain fold and bring it over to the side, like this. Then turn it over and again go between those two layers, take the crease here, turn it over into a mountain fold and bring it to the side. It's possible now that you can <coughs> fix it with a clamp, fix it together like this, but it's not really necessary and I won't do it. Okay, next on. We focus on these lines that we just made and we have to turn these two outer lines into mountain folds. It's always one is already a mountain fold, the other one is a valley fold, so we have to turn one over. The line between them gets a valley fold and, and this crease here stops and here it will be a mountain fold, so it turns direction. I will show you what I mean. I <coughs> fold this into a mountain fold and this into a mountain fold and now you can take a toothpick or something and make the crease between them a valley fold like this where it meets these two lines uh, the middle line starts to become mountain fold and we press this in. Then we go to the next one. Fold this a mountain fold and here a mountain fold. The crease between them should be a valley fold. We press them together and here on this line it becomes a mountain fold and we turn it like this. And the next one. We make a mountain fold another mountain fold, bring them together with making the crease between them a valley fold. Um, what happens on the top happens almost by itself if you made sharp creases. And the next one. Okay, like this. Out the creases into mountain folds, valley folds, these two are valley folds, and then this inner crease is a mountain fold, like this. And the next one mountain fold, and mountain fold, bring them together and make the crease between them valley fold. Here goes in and the next one. Mountain fold, mountain fold, bring them together. Make a 
come on and fold. Oh, no, I think this already was the last one. Okay, <laughs> sorry. So, check whether they are all nice. Um, let's work on this part. Remember it was like that. So I'm going on to work on the handle now. I pushed, pull this out and here's this little green part here. And that's until where the umbrella goes until this line and what you can do is fold just the this little part here inside just like this two layers but it's not really necessary you can do this but it's not really necessary like that. Okay, this fix, fixes the whole thing a little bit in place. Now I'm going to divide this part here in half by folding this in half like that. Then I fold the corner here in half like that and then you see this is the crease I these are the creases I just made and from here on I go outwards and make a crease until that point like that and then I fold this down like this. Okay. Good. Then when we turn it over, it looks like this. And I have this triangle and I just push it together like that. Push it together. Then I look where uh, I turn it over again. So I pushed it together like this, and I go along this corner he uh, here, and uh, not corner, but along this edge, edge, and make a new crease here. And then I continue. I push this together, and fold it in half. Just along the edge, and here too, fold along the edge, and the last time, fold along the edge, okay, like this, good. Now we have this handle, and there's a crease line here and what I do is I fold towards this crease line and then what I need to do is a wrap around so I open this slightly push on this point like that so it turns around and then I make a mountain fold here. So I made a color change. Okay. Now I turn it over. And you see I have this handle here. And I fold it in with a mountain fold in half. 
so I can just here. First I, I put this over to here and then I make this fold to fold it in half. so long. Okay. Got it done. Here we have the handle. We can also put the paper here in half and make a nice rounded handle. Use this to round it a bit. Then um, we're going to reinforce this creases up there. And what I do now is I hold this together on the inside. This these creases here and push uh, the part between to one side. I just go around, I grab these and fold this over. Grab these and fold this part over. When I got all this, I can twist them. But I need to hold it on the inside to have a little force. Make sure they are all nice. nicely together and then you can twist them This one wants to stay flat, so we go on the inside, and where there is this crease line, we make a mountain fold and that goes to that crease line. So I make this mountain fold that goes to this point. Make a little um, welly fold right next to it. Know whether you can see this, so I made this valley fold here and a mountain fold here, just a little crimp. Now it stays in this position, and to make the umbrella stay nice rounded, we're going to add a rounded crease like this. So I start by making a pinch here and there and one in the middle like I press this together here and here and then here and then I combine them with round creases like this see and then I make it on the next one make a little crease by pinching here in half and the pinching here in half, then make a little crease there and bring them together with round creases. 
Well, like this. I can also turn it over. So I pinch on the left side and I pinch on the right side. Make a little pinch in the middle and bring them together. And again, pinch here, pinch there, pinch in the middle and bring them together. Pinch right, pinch left, pinch in the middle and rounded creases. And this gives the umbrella a lot of stability. Here a pinch, there a pinch, this one. And the last one's a little complicated because you have these layers in there, so you have to first press those layers a little down, and make this middle pinch, and then make the outer pinch, and bring it all together. Okay, and then you can arrange the handle a bit, round it a bit more if you like. And that's it. Your umbrella, the Muratan Saifolo, is finished. So this is the model Shamsia by Muratan Saifoglu. Goodbye.